Hello there, Pokemon trainers. You got Trainer Connor with the secondary showdown battle video today. Remember to like and subscribe as I'll be putting these videos out daily before Sword and Shield come out later on in 2019. Also, in the description, I have my previous video if you trainers somehow missed it. I encourage you all to check that battle out. Now, we are back with another OU aka Overused Pokemon lineup. Personally, I think that this team is legit. In testing matches, people got frustrated with these Pokemon that I used. They're very good Pokemon. Uh, their sets are original. I came up with them. Uh, the move sets, everything, the EV spreads. What am I using this episode? You'll find out very soon. Alright, let's jump right into the team preview. I'm excited for this, gosh darn it. Alright, so we'll be using Conglder today. Conglder, I believe he was in OU at one point, but I don't think he is anymore. But when he was in OU, he was pretty good. Now this Conglder has a Choice Bang equipped. Choice Bang only limits you to one move only unless you switch out, but that attack will be powerful. This Conglder has mass attack EVs and mass HP. To have a lot of HP to live hits from previous Pokemon that I fought in my previous matches that you'll, you'll see what I mean by that. But yes, it's a great bulky Pokemon with a lot of attacking power. Choice Band Sheer Force. And the moves I have on him are Drain Punch, Bok Punch, Ice Punch, and Stone Edge. I regret using Ice Punch and you'll see why. Ice Punch is great handling Garchomp and Dragonite. Pretty much all the Dragon types probably superior as a niche. But if I had Fire Punch, I would have handled Ferrothorn, Celesteela, Cartana. You've seen those Ultra Beasts everywhere. It would be nice to have Fire Punch instead of Ice Punch, but you can't go wrong with it. So in this video, I have him with Ice Punch. I'm excited to use him. I think he's going to be an interesting Pokemon in the OU tier. The secondary Pokemon in the lineup that I have is Zapdos. Zapdos is pretty common in the OU tier. I like using him. His role in this video is supposed to be a defogger set. So when you have defog, you get rid of entry hazards on both sides of the field, which is... I'm kind of torn with that. I kind of like it. I kind of don't. But defog is pretty good. Stealth Ross on this team that I have is not great, but it's not terrible either. So we might be able to use Defog with Zapdos. We will see. In addition, I have Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, and Roost, I believe. I might have Heat Wave, but I kind of changed it up. I believe in this video I have him with Roost, just to keep his longevity up for reals. I'm really excited to use Zapdos as well. Zapdos is pretty good. Has great special attack. It can hit a lot of Pokemon like Greninja, Garagos, not Mega Garagos, I was going to say that, but it hits Garagos pretty hard, it hits... It's really there for Chip, too, so if you have Zapdos holding, like, you know, Life Orb, Volt Switch, it can actually put a dent to some Pokemon there, but this Pokemon in particular will be holding Leftovers. Greninja is the next Pokemon in the squad, and I like Greninja. A lot of people use Battle Bond, and this set is strictly into the Battle Bond area. Instead of Protein or his original ability, I think it's Torrent. And Battle Bond ensures that Greninja is very powerful. I really like this set. It has Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, U-Turn, and Surf. So this has a lot of speed control. I don't think this team has a lot of speed outside of Zapdos and a few other Pokemon, but Greninja kind of fits the bill a little bit. U-Turn is there for momentum. If I'm stuck in a situation where I can't stay in, I can be faster than my opponent and use U-Turn to get out of there. Ice Beam is great for coverage, Dark Pulse, and Surf are for Scab. Now the Pokemon of the video you see is Clefable. You saw it in the thumbnail. Clefable is a very good Pokemon. It is a fairy type. And I kind of need a fairy type to kind of fit in the synergy that I have. You notice I had Greninja, I had Conkleger, so I need somebody that can sponge steel type moves, or not, not steel type moves, that's what it's weak to. Psychic type moves, there we go. And Clefable kind of fits there. 
It has great special effects. I even put a lot of special attack EVs on this set because it's going to be using Calm Mind. Calm Mind Clefable with Wish, Moonblast, and Flamethrower is going to do a really good solid chunk to a lot of Pokemon that a lot of trainers are going to be surprised by this Clefable. It's going to be our captain for the video, it looks like. I personally think he will be, and you'll see what I mean by that when you watch the video. But the fifth Pokemon that I have here is Mega Venusaur. Mega Venusaur is our Mega for the match. Pretty underrated. A lot of people use Mega Blastoise, Mega Charizard. Mega Venusaur is awesome. It has a lot of special attack, a lot of HP, really good defense with the ability Thick Fat to sponge, fire, and ice type moves that are aimed at him for super effective damage. However, we do notice that flying types are apparent in the OU tier, but that's fine. Venusaur has a really good set, and this is where people got frustrated, okay? Venusaur has Sleep Powder, Giga Drain, and Sludge Bomb Synthesis. I change it up frequently with Hidden Power Fire or Hidden Power Ice, depending on situations, but the other three moves, like I mentioned, are spectacular. You'll piss a lot of people off with this set. So, Mega Venusaur for the win. And so our final Pokemon in the squad is Shangalure. Shangalure is our special attacker, pretty much like Venusaur in a sense, but it has a lot of speed as well. We need a lot of speed in this team outside of Greninja and perhaps Zapdos, but Shangalure is pretty fast. Now this particular Shangalure I like, it's got Substitute with the Fire Blast, Shadow Ball, and Hidden Power Electric. That is a move that you don't normally see on Shangalure. You sometimes see Pain Split or Destiny Bond, but I personally like Hidden Power Electric. It kind of catches a lot of water type Pokemon like Gyarados, Suicune, and a bunch of other water types are very prominent in the tier itself. I forgot what's in the OU tier now, but I do know that Suicune and Gyarados are a thing in the tier. That's why I keep mentioning them. I have to go check on who else is in the tier. But yeah, you got Greninja as well, but Greninja has Progan as well, so you have to be aware of that. But Hidden Power Electric is solid. It can also target Grass types too, but why would you do that when you have Fire Blast? There you go, that's the team for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis there. Now we can jump right into the battle. Here we go. Alright trainers, so we have the max right here. This is a great opponent, by the way, for the team that I have. Now you look at my opponent's team, my side is right there, you can see it. Conqueror, Zapdos, Clefable, Ninja, Venusaur, and Shangalure. My opponent has Suicune, Tyranitar, Seosila, Landorus, which I kind of forgot about Landorus. It has access to Incinate. You have to be cautious about that. Um, he also has a Alolan, Ninetales, and Superior. We can utilize a lot of these Pokemon correctly. I start out with Venusaur here. I figured he was going to set up some Stealth Rocks, so I stay in. And I was going to put him to sleep, but he has a supersonic sky strike there. Very unfortunate because I was like, oh man, I could have just uh, switched out into something, but he apparently just goes for the supersonic sky strike. I go into Greninja, and Greninja, you guys, is a great answer because I have a lot of speed control and I have a lot of coverage options. We have a low and nine tail, so I need to switch out and go into somebody different. I go into Conqueror thinking that fighting type attacks are going to get the job done. But I realize that Conqueror, I mean, Ninetales is part fairy as well, it's neutral. Uh, he goes for Hypnosis, he very obviously hits it. It's very hard to hit Hypnosis. We wake up on turn one, go for Bok Punch. I thought it was super effective, no. And this is where things kind of get a little out of hand. I go, or he goes for the freeze dry, and I get frozen by it. This is where I wish I had Fire Punch, guys. Because remember I said about Fire Punch? It has access to Fire Punch. I put Ice Punch on this Conqueror 
for the battle, so I'm forced to stay frozen here as he continues to go for the freeze dry. Very unfortunate. I could have switched out into Zapdos and hit him with a heat wave. I regret not doing that. So, Conqueror goes down. This will open the door for Shangalure though. He misses the hypnosis. I am very grateful for that. This will let me set up a substitute right in its face. And now I can go for a Fire Blast. It's going to be... When I go this, it's going to take a lot of damage from the Fire Blast. Coming in as a clean 2 hit KO. I was hoping he would get the burn, but unfortunately he we don't get the chance to burn it. I go for Shadow Ball. He wants to switch out into something different, that's fine. Shadow Ball is there for coverage, or if it fails stab, but it can also hit Pokemon like Speaker for neutral damage. Here's where I have my ability Infiltrator coming to play because we see a substitute Speaker in here. And I reveal to my opponent that I have Hidden Power Electric. This is where I surprise people, because you don't see that on Shangalur often. So we both have our subs up, and I'm going to uh, get my sub faded away. I just continue, I continue going for the Hidden Power Electric. Why not, right? It hits a lot of Pokemon there. If he wants to switch out into Superior, that's fine. I can go for the Fire Blast if I want to. Shangalur is Handling the skulls pretty well, and I just go for yet another Hidden Power Electric. So we don't really need anyone to switch out of there, so we can just KO that Pokemon. He brings back in Nine Tails, and the way he did that, I knew that he was going to outspeed me, because I would have just gone for a Fire Blast. That's okay though, I can go into somebody different like Greninja. Greninja should be faster than it. And we go for the Surf, I thought I could KO it from that range. No, I was wrong. He goes for the Aurora Veal. It does something, I kind of forgot what it does, but it does something, so I want to be careful when he uses it. He makes the switch and the hard switch into Superior, and Superior... I have Ice Beam for it, but the way he's playing it, I knew it had something that I was not aware of, and that was Glare. And Glare will paralyze Greninja. Greninja, when it's paralyzed, is almost like a Ferrothorn at that amount of speed. Ferrothorn is pretty slow. That's what Greninja is like right now. It's pretty damn slow. And you get paralyzed, I was actually, I predicted him to switch out there. I was going to go with the U-turn there, but I get paralyzed, so I couldn't get a free switch in there. However, we do get the Battle Bond, so that's something out of it anyway. He brings back in Superior. He has Superior, Celesteela, and Tyranitar in the back. He goes for knockoff, and that's okay. Here's where I kind of screw up a little bit. I go into Zapdos. I misplay him a little bit here. I let him go for knockoff. Knocks away my leftovers. And now I go for Volt Switch, but I could have just gone into the Clefable originally, and... Yes, I would have left my leftovers get away from me, but I would have still had my Zapdos and his item because I wouldn't have gotten him in there first. So if I just let <laughs> if I just let in for Fable first, this wouldn't have happened. So that's fine. I go for the Calm Mind first and then go for Flamethrower. And a plus one for Fable, you guys, is going to be our hero. We get a flinch from the Air Slash. That is to be expected. I thought he was going to go for it again. But he doesn't, so I go for Wish, realizing that I'm losing HP. Sela Skeel is going for Autonomize, it's going to boost its speed. I don't care about that, we're going to go for a Flamethrower. This is where things become real in this video, you guys. He goes into Superior. You all know that Superior is going to outspeed me, use Glare. This is huge, because if I keep getting paralyzed like I do right here, how am I going to handle Tyranitar? As he brings in Tyranitar fresh, I go for Flamethrower, I was going to hit the Superior originally. This is where I need to not get paralyzed, because if I get paralyzed, we're in a tough spot. I only have Thunderbolt to hit Tyranitar with, with Zapdos around. So if Clefable goes down, I'll be in a tough spot. However, we managed to hit a Moonblast, and Sword Edge fails to get to the KO, and that means I don't get paralyzed and I go for the Moonblast. 
Yes! This is where I was like, oh man, Fable, you're top notch. You're a hero in this video. And that means that he only has Superior. That was huge because all I have left is Zapdos. Even though we don't have our item, I can definitely take a Leaf Storm at plus two with the contrary ability that Superior has. It's a very good Pokemon, that's why it's in the Wii U. Previously, I think Superior was in the RU or NU. At that range, Thunderbolt will get the job done, and we take care of my opponent by a 5 to 6 or 1 0 score. So that paralyzation on Clefable was huge. It was a 50 50 whether I should hit the Moonblast or not, and boy, did it ever come in clutch. I'm very happy about it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content in your near future. So, very good battle. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of sweating watching that video. When I get it, uh, when I get it live, I mean, it was definitely a battle. I was like, oh man, am I going to do it or not? So, anyway, so thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Goodbye, trainers.